Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking on Patreon. Uh, we've got a bit of a good vid today. Um, just more confirmation of the things that I'd said about a human heartbeat um, where blood coming in, which contains the energy, energizes the uh, chamber of the heart, uh, creates a Fibonacci spiral of electromagnetism, which crosses the heart wall as electricity and then reacts with the other heart wall uh, of another Fibonacci spiral. And this pumps blood in. Um, I'd said that's how uh, how hearts work. And then I explained about magnets and how magnets had a heartbeat. Um, and that was the shape of the actual field. Um, that video is called Two Separate Heartbeat Magnetic Fields. Halo Plate Proves the Truth. And this was to show that in the inertial line, the middle of a magnet, uh, the field flies into the inertial line so that it looks like a figure eight. And it is complete blackness. There is no field there. And you see it go in and out. And I compare it to a heartbeat. Um, I do have another video called uh, Fibonacci Solves the Heteromag Electrical Electromagnetic Flow. And this is how I show by the halo wave. Um, obviously on the screen that is a fractal pattern that is getting smaller and it's also spinning as it goes. Um, so I've always described the heart as having a, uh, a magnetic field that spirals in the, the electric field of the heart. That's what it does to the muscle. So it causes a rotation of the heart muscle to squeeze all the blood in and out of your ventricles. I'll have to have a look for more videos. I'm sure I've got one on the heart. It might have been in my Google posts, and unfortunately all the Google posts got destroyed when they shut down Google Plus or whatever that was. So I was doing pictures and stuff on there because it was easier than making videos. So that's a shame that Google Plus has gone. Anyway, let's have a look at Veritas Serum, who shows the uh, electrical liquid. heart spiral. Maybe I should emphasize, the liquid itself is not moving. It's not like we're seeing ripples on a pond. But what's not still, is chemical concentrations. You can see these blue waves in the BZ reaction that are chemical waves, not, not water waves, and they will just propagate and they move at a constant speed and or they can look like a spiral that just grows and grows and spins around. And what's really spooky and uncanny about this is that the same phenomenon is seen in the heart. You can see spiral waves of electrical excitation in a heart that look exactly like the spiral waves in chemical oscillations is that the same phenomenon is seen in the heart. You can see spiral waves of electrical excitation in a heart that look exactly like the spiral waves in chemical oscillations is that the same phenomenon is seen in the heart. You can see spiral waves of electrical excitation in a heart that look exactly like the spiral waves in chemical oscillations. So I've said that energy travels in a double helix vortex, clockwise and counterclockwise. And that's what's happening in your heart. So we just saw the spiral there. Um, I'm pretty happy actually. Uh, thanks Lord for uh, actually showing um, mainstream science, uh, confirming what you told me. Thanks everybody. Um, thanks for listening. And I hope that brings you closer to the truth that it was God that showed me all these visions of how everything works. Because I have explained this um, on videos and, and de in several different ways of how things pump and how they're like a heartbeat. Those kind of things I've explained on video many times because obviously if I'm talking about a heartbeat, I'm talking about a double helix Ouroboros field. Um, I'll try and find the other video. I'm pretty sure I've done a heart video, but I can't seem to find it in my YT. Um, studio. All right. Thanks for listening. And uh, we'll have some more spring stuff coming soon. Thanks a lot.